Hello everyone and welcome back to ASP.NET Core 1.0. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to be talking about razor sections. So previously we created a view layout and inside of the layout we called this render body method that would take the content of our view and place it inside of wherever we have this render body method called. You can do a similar thing with razor sections. You can actually call the render section method pass along the string, which is the name of the section you want to render in that particular area of the layout. And if you have declared a section of that name inside of your view, it will go ahead and bring that content into that area that you've called that render section method at. Client-side developers will often employ this tactic of leaving the JavaScripts to render at the very end of a document for two reasons. First, it means that the content of the view will be displayed before the code even loads. That makes it appear to the user that the browsing experience is happening faster. The second thing it does is it allows for any sort of search engine that might be combing through your pages to come across the content of the view before it comes across any sort of scripting and therefore give more meaningful results to the users that might be searching for your page. Let's go ahead and hop into Visual Studio. Let's create one of these sections as well as place it inside of our view layout. So inside of my index with form view, I'm gonna go ahead and add a section and I'm gonna call this scripts. Now inside of my scripts section, I can actually put any sort of HTML or razor content that I want. So I could uh, you know, use another HTML helper or I can just use regular tags and maybe even do an input tag if I wanted to. So as long as it's HTML code or razor syntax, it's perfectly valid to place inside of this scripts section. Now I should also state that you can name this section whatever you'd like. I've just declared it as scripts because that's what I'm gonna use it for. I'm gonna declare the, the JavaScripts that I want to use for each one of my views inside of this scripts section. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the script tag and inside of my script tag, I'm just gonna create some JavaScript. We're gonna doc, do a document.body.style and I'm just gonna change the background color to red. Okay, pretty simple. Now just declaring this section alone does not mean that it's going to render. If I save this and I go ahead and run the application, we'll see that we get an error here. And that's because we've declared a section, but it hasn't been rendered. And it even tells me to ignore an unrendered section, call ignore section, and then the section name. So I would actually have to tell our layout to ignore this section if I didn't want to render it. So if you render an area inside of your view, you must call it. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. I'm gonna go back to my layout and before my end body tag, this is where I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a render section method call for that section. So I'm gonna do render section. And now I can pass along the name as a string of the section that I want to render here at this particular point inside of my view layout. And that was just called scripts. So if I save this, let's go ahead and reload our page we can see that now the background is red. Now we saw that if I declared a section inside of my view, but I didn't call it, then I got an error. What happens if I, in my layout, I say render section, but that section doesn't exist? Well, let's go ahead and comment this out for right now. Let's go ahead and save that, and let's refresh our page. Here we see that we got an invalid operation exception, the layout page uh, views shared layout cannot find the section called scripts in the content page index with form.cshtml. So if it can't find a section and I've told it to render that section, it's going to kick out an error. But there is a way that you can avoid this particular problem because maybe not every single view do I want to necessarily declare a scripts section. Maybe I don't want to declare a script section down here on my regular index view. Maybe I just want to display the content and I don't want to render any particular section. Well, if that's the case, then what you can do is you can go to your layout and inside of your render section method, you can actually pass a second parameter 
that declares whether or not it is required to render that section. So if I change this to false and save it, and then once again, I'm gonna go ahead and comment this back out and save it again. Now we can go ahead and refresh and we have our form without the red background because of course I commented it out. But now if I do want to render this section, then I just go ahead and uncomment this out. And now it should go ahead and render with the red background. Let's do one more example. So instead of doing a scripts section, I also sometimes want to have a footer. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and say render section and I'm gonna call this footer. And I'm gonna make it optional so that not every one of my views that's associated with this layout has to have a footer. So we'll do false so that it doesn't have to. Let's go ahead and save that. And now I'm gonna go back to my index with form and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my act the section that's gonna be called footer. I'm actually gonna place it below the area where my scripts is because it doesn't really matter which order I put this in. I could put the footer above the script section or I could put it below the script section. Either way, it will still render in the correct area here inside of my layout. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and do just an HR and we'll do a small little break and we'll just say made by Contoso Enterprises LLC. Why not? Okay, so that would be the footer. And now when we render our section, we can see made by Contoso Enterprises LLC. Now if I wanted to change that for a different view, so if I go here to my index section here, down here, say section footer, and I'm gonna go ahead and do HR again. And I'm just gonna say, this is my footer. Okay. Now, since this index view is gonna be uh, using the view layout, I should probably go ahead and get rid of the body and head and HTML tags, because those are no longer necessary. So just a little more cleanup work that we haven't done yet. Let's go ahead and save that. And now we can go back to our view now let's go ahead and put in some information here and submit. And there we go, we can see this is my footer. And if I move this footer to somewhere else, so if I put it up here, we'll see that we still get the same content rendered if I refresh. Still says this is my footer down below at the bottom because that's where we've declared that it should go inside of our view layout. So that is how you declare a section inside of one of your views, and then you declare where you want it to be placed inside of the view layout. If you guys have any questions about this video, please feel free to drop me your comments in the comment section below, and uh, I will be happy to answer it if I know the answer. If you did like this video, please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel so you guys can get notified when there is another release. And as always, you can also reach out to me on Facebook at the Programming Made Easy Facebook page. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys at the next video.